We are on episode seven of the journey series. Seems hard to believe. This has been an epic journey across America so far and we still have a long way to go. Our sheets are dirty, our pants are wearing thin, and we often don't know where we're gonna sleep at night until we get there. It's safe to assume this trip is going to be unforgettable. What he said. <laughs> On this episode of The Journey, we explore the one and only Grand Canyon North Rim, and then we check out the iconic Horseshoe Bend as we make our way to visit some new friends at Lazy P Ranch in Arizona. Today's made up sponsor is Faux Breeze. Faux Breeze is a sister company to our previous made up sponsor, Faux Real and is under our corporation Fobrella. Fobreeze is the imaginary way to feel the wind. Whenever you're in need of a fresh feel from nature, just close your eyes and Fobreeze will be there for you. All right, close your eyes. Let me try this Fobreeze on you. Do you feel it? It smells like hands. Hmm, I thought I ordered the rugged woodsman scent. Let me rub it in a little more. Hmm. How's that? Oh yeah, very lumberjackish. Perfect. Faux breeze. When you think about it, it's really just air. Now back to our video. So far, pretty much every drive out to each destination has been so different than we imagined it to be. Like on the way out to the Grand Canyon right now, I was not expecting this like lush green forest. And now we're going to the North Rim entrance, all these beautiful pines and green grass. Like we just came from the desert the last few days. So it's so nice to be in this cool 65 degree weather and beautiful scenery on the way. With all of the incredible sights we had seen so far on the trip, between Rocky Mountain National Park, Arches National Park, and many amazing sights in between, we weren't sure how the Grand Canyon was going to compare. One thing's for sure, it absolutely blew us away. Here it is, our first time ever seeing it, the Grand Canyon. I just feel like I could sit here for a long time and just take this in. After we spent some time here as a family, Ariel and I took turns watching the children while the other one got to go enjoy this moment alone. These types of places, when we've taken the time to just be present in the moment, really speak to us. Afterwards, we got to check out the amazing lodge and restaurant at the Grand Canyon North Rim. that little squirrel. This is not zooming. It's for real. It's coming. Oh, he did think it was food. That's hilarious. Did you throw the rock at him or to him? I'm gonna scare him. Aw. He thought it was bread. Yeah, I thought he was gonna come bite him. There's so many trade-offs to man life. We get to just 
park on the side of the road up here on top of this mountain. And this is all national forest land, so totally allowed to just boondock like this. And there's often just these dirt roads, kind of service access roads and stuff. So we're right near the Grand Canyon. For all of the shortcomings of living in a vehicle, we get to, you know, pull off these little spots. I'm gonna get the table set up here and get some propane stove and everything hooked up, get the coffee going, and start the day. Okay, I just came up with a brilliant idea. So this is how we make our coffee every morning. We get our fresh whole beans out of this. Oh, I turn that down. Then we put it inside this. This is a hand crank grinder. We gotta hand crank this every time we make coffee. Well, I brought my tools with me, and so I thought, had the idea, why am I hand cranking with this kind of tip on there? I'm gonna hook my power drill up to it. Filled. I feel like I just won at boondocking. Ariel said I didn't really understand the ritual of hand grinding coffee in the morning. I do understand that ritual, but I also understand the ritual of using power tools. I don't know if she understands that ritual. This is the remnants of breakfast with a five-year-old and a two-year-old. <laughs> stops we wanted to go to. Yeah. That was just so phenomenal. We are approaching Horseshoe Bend. We're almost there. Very long way down, huh? Yeah. We had a great time checking out Horseshoe Bend, but it was scorching hot that day, so we could only stay for a little while before everyone started feeling a little overheated. After we headed out, we went to Boondock for the evening, and then the next day we were headed to meet up with some new friends. Well, we're going to visit some friends that we've never met before. This will be, I think, the third time I've met a friend off Craigslist just by typing in male seeking friend. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're here, we're alive, and we met good people. <laughs> um, to everyone who thought we were gonna die coming out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we're gonna go tour the ranch here, you call it a ranch or a farm? Yeah, it's a ranch. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna check out some beef cattle. You said you had milk. We uh, got milk cows, beef, right? And they don't act the same. You can see they kind of have their own herd. So the, the brown and white cows are Herefords. Oh yeah. And those are beef cows. And then this cow right here, this is our dairy cow. And oh, this nice. is a Jersey and brown Swiss. And then this one is a brown Swiss and Angus mix. Beautiful. These two are dairy cows. And then these are all beef cattle. Like, and then back there is our bull. Like and he's a, a beef master <laughs> okay. and Angus. Our long-term goal is that we're gonna be breeding the brown Swiss, Jersey, or with these two. It'll make a type of Swangus is what they call it. <laughs> Swangus. Yeah. The benefit of Swangus is it gives a high cream content and it has a really thick, sturdy milk. They allege, allegedly, that it, it makes the baby stronger. That's nice. the that's the, the rumor, so. I love how kids just start hanging out, you know? Yeah. like, old friends. Or we'll use these smaller pills. Nice. We'll do that today. I got to get the cracker out. Are you excited to feed the cows? I think so. 
He said we can. African tortoise that loves lettuce. Oh. If you want to, you can feed this cow a little bit. You can take some of this hay, and you can feed candy right there. Candy he was trying to eat cadence earlier. You want to try feeding him by hand? You want to give it some hay? You can take some and give some to Fawn. There you go. <laughs> Fawn's getting in there. Nice job, Levi. How many unique cows do you have? So right now we have about a little over 50, about 52. And at one point in time we had about 200. So we used to have 200, but now uh, we reduced it down to about 50. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's still a lot. After we finished up some farm chores, we got to hang out, tour some of the land, and then went inside to cool down and have some great fellowship for a couple hours before heading out to hit the road again. Just leaving our friends, <clears throat> and they are officially friends. I almost started to cry. It was such a beautiful time. Yeah, absolutely. I think we totally came in not knowing what to expect, and we're just blown away by their warm hearts, sweet conversation, and ended up staying way, way longer than we thought we would. And we're so glad we did. And so much gravy. <laughs> if you don't know what gravy is, it's talking about deep things in life and also things that we haven't quite figured out yet in the etheric realm of things as well as in the natural realms as well as you know governmental um <coughs> psyop <coughs> all kinds of things like that but uh just such a sweet time and um man we're just awesome family it's it's like finding an oasis in the desert you know when you connect with friends like that so it was a good time here i'm going to put a link in in the description of our channel uh, or this video to their channel i'll put a link so check it out down below while i was in the middle of editing this video i just found out some exciting news from our friends at g lazy p ranch i will let them share that info whenever they're ready to thank you for watching until this point in the video make sure you go subscribe to their channel as well as ours like this video to help it get seen also i just created a link down below to paypal and if you'd like to support us while we're on our journey you can do so by clicking that link i just found out our windshield on our van just cracked so you could help support us for that but also we we have very big plans for the future of this channel with sharing helpful info on natural living along with building infrastructure for homesteading and also continuing to create wholesome family friendly content so until next time my name is Leif keep living thriving and building <laughs>